Okay, you're given this circle, x squared plus y squared equals 64, which is a circle with center at the origin, radius 8. And if we wanted to solve for y, it would look like this right here. And so the top half of that circle is y equals the positive square root of 64 minus x squared. And the uh, bottom of that circle, or this semicircle, is y equals the negative square root of 64 minus x squared. So for each x between negative 8 and 8, this distance right here, which is the base of an equilateral triangle, is this y-coordinate minus this y-coordinate, which gives us two of those y-coordinates. That, that's what this s is right here, the side of an equilateral triangle. And the area of an equilateral triangle is s squared radical 3 over 4. So if we pick, this is, this is a kind of what we're picturing as one of the cross-sections that are perpendicular to the x-axis. We're kind of visualizing this equilateral triangle coming up out of the ground. <clears throat> and you can see whoop, that if I go over to Desmos and slide this along here like this, that the cross-section gets bigger and then smaller. And so what we're doing to find the volume of the, sh the solid that's generated by these cross-sections perpendicular to the x-axis is integrating from negative 8 to 8 for this formula for the area. Now we could integrate from 0 to 8 and double it because this circle is symmetric about the y-axis. So here's kind of what it looks like. Here's the side squared. That's the side that's lying in the xy coordinate plane. And so the area of a cross section is s squared radical 3 over 4. You have to kind of know that formula for the area of an equilateral triangle. s squared radical 3 over 4. And then if we double that from the definite, for the definite integral from 0 to 8, we'll have the volume of the solid that's generated. So we could move this radical 3 out front, square this expression here. After that, the 4s cancel out. So we're taking the antiderivative of 64 minus x squared, which is 64x minus 1 third x cubed, evaluated from 0 to 8. Okay, and I'll let you do the work there. Turns out if I unhide this rectangle, their answer appears right there. Okay, and I'll send the link to this graph so you can take a look there too. There you go. Hope that gave you some idea. If you have any questions, post a comment.